Today I spoke with my friend who is a doctor. She's MD and also she's a holistic doctor. She's working in Miami and she witnessed in the recent spike of COVID deaths um, in Florida there, she saw how many people were dying. She says the morgues was completely full. They had to order trucks to transport, to store the bodies. But she said the people who were dying was those who are overweight, who are not healthy, who drink, who do drugs, who eat junk food, no healthy lifestyle. And so the immune system is already compromised. So COVID just finished them off. People who take care of themselves, they, their body are capable of uh, creating antibodies and immunity against the virus. And she says, for those people who are sick, they need vaccine. However, the healthy people don't because they can't battle it themselves. Now, I want to talk about um, kids. That leads me to the children. Um, the vaccination is now mandatory in schools for um, kids who are 12 years old and older in many states, which doesn't, again, doesn't make sense. See, the, the medical machine is so brutal because it treats everybody the same way, yet everybody's different. For those children who are uh, compromised, who are sick, they maybe need vaccination to protect themselves from the, from the COVID virus. However, to healthy children, they are fine. They don't even get sick. My son was sitting next to a boy in school. They were wearing masks uh, who, got, um, um, who got COVID. He was treated for COVID. Now, my son didn't get it. Do you think that really the masks protect them? He sits next to him for a week. It's a healthy boy and, and another boy probably not as healthy. And so, again, it has to be case by case basis. I don't think every children has to be vaccinated because we're going to do more harm. That system, for the sake of making lots of money, this extra buck, they going to hurt children who are healthy. Every time I witness as a holistic healer, I see when people are prescribed or taking medication that they don't need, they get sicker, they get sick. So it's a very subtle process, you see. And um, we as people have to, take, um, have to take responsibility for our own life. So if you want to have a strong immunity, then have the healthy lifestyle, eat right, exercise, meditate, um, think good thoughts, because your thoughts directly, directly influencing your body. And I have like so many videos about how to create a healthy body. You know, healthy body begins with your thoughts, then your emotions that thoughts produce, and then all these blockages translate into the sickness. And, uh, uh, long-term sicknesses and um, chronic diseases. It's all self-created people. It's very easy to uncreate it. You just have to change your mind and change your lifestyle a little bit. Take responsibility. So that's basically was the wake-up call for me to speak with her. And uh, I'm so blessed and I'm so grateful that doctors like her exist. Now, she is herself taking um, psychedelic uh, medicine for herself just to open her heart, open her mind and begin to see the whole picture, the holistic picture of the body and the health and the soul and the heart, everything together versus just, you know, body as um, some kind of mechanical thing that's animated by nerves, right, and breath. It's much more complicated than that. And so I'm blessed that people like her exist because she treats her clients completely differently. And, um, but again, our health begins with us. So you take responsibility for yourself and also teach your children. You're the example for your children. 
So teach your children to be, you know, pure. Another little note I want to uh, take, and I mentioned it in my other videos, the whole COVID thing is the immunity of the earth um, adjusting to the new level of consciousness. The earth is transferring to the fourth uh, dimensional being. It's awakening. And those people who are way behind and have no desire to evolve or it's not their interest right now, they will be um, sick and they will suffer um, unless they, they step into the higher awareness about themselves and uh, understand the oneness, the concept of oneness um, on this planet. Because the planet awakens its heart right now. It's going into the Jesus consciousness. And so um, if you want to thrive on this planet right now, you need to keep up with the evolution of, the, um, of this you know, world. Um, now, children, that's another reason why children not, don't need special treatment, because children are already born into the new earth. They're already born as advanced soul. They came to this planet as already soul that fit uh, the consciousness of the planet and, and, and that good match. And so they don't need to be wiped out and born somewhere else on a three, third density pla planet like Earth used to be. Um, they're fine. Un again, unless these children are compromised, majority of kids here on, on this planet are already a perfect match. And that's why they don't really get sick. Kids, I have two kids, none of them suffered from COVID. One got, my older one got it for one day, like uh, when it's, it was the beginning of it. Uh, he was like, oh, I just feel a little tired. And then the next day he was fine. While, I, while it took me a whole week to recover. <laughs> so just like that. So um, let's take, again, responsibility for ourselves and uh, awaken, begin awakening process. If you guys want a private consultation, you can email me um, and um, I'll be happy to, you know, do assessment and guide you and give you meditation tools and um, different tools for self-awareness and self-awakening that are practical and powerful and they work. And they don't take years and years of practice. Within a couple of weeks, you can start connecting the dots. Or you can just watch a bunch of my YouTube videos and you can connect all the dots too. If you even on this channel, People probably who need it the most are not listening to me, unfortunately. <laughs> but that's okay. Maybe later. <laughs> All right. Bye.